testing, testing. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Vectorize. My name is Jonathan. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. After you know a good time, I I'm here now. After the holidays, I hope that you guys are doing very well. So let me see who is joining with us here today. Hello, Tick. Hello, Angela Sanderson. Uh, me, MSM. <laughs> Ariadna, Demio, Aileen, uh, Sarah, Nikki, Benjamin, and Kina. Hello, Kina. Julio de Carvalho, my friend from Brazil, and Peter Dest. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much again for joining us. Uh, today I'm gonna bring a, a new kind of let's say a lesson all right this year I want to focus more in more art activities here on the vectorize and of course I want to explain much more about this and perhaps you may think that all right uh, what's this topic is about you know if you read here our title that is called stop using vector don't use vector basically but I just want to warn you um, the things that is very important if you are learning vector and if you want to become an illustrator like I am, I'm an illustrator, I hope that you know that. And also, of course, you can use vector art skills in order to come up with design solutions. Right now, I'm going to share with you my screen. Okay, let's see here. Uh, this is my screen. Welcome, my friends. All right, guys, um, just to clarify some stuff that we're going to do for today and for this month right we're gonna study here this move that's called that's called Klaus why I choose this move because it's been a while you know that I wanted really wanted to study this move because it's very nice it's perfect you know the gesture the animation the colors the shapes mainly the shapes because it's something that I really love you know to to understand and study and I was thinking in a way that I can bring this study with you right and I, I was planning to do this just, just to myself and I, I was thinking why not I can bring my studies here with you and show you how you can practice how you can also uh, bring these studies and make this you know in your life basically because here if you if we get these references I will show you soon here um, my friend basically you can learn a lot with them Right, I was breaking here some images as reference just to simplify more uh, uh, about how my process works. I hope that you know how I do, you know, uh, my designs. Basically, it's based upon shapes, color, and details. All right, this is the for me the three three main principles, the three main principles to create everything. All right, and I'm not just telling you this about my head, my friend. I'm not crazy because I am studying a lot. <laughs> let me show you another screen that I have here. Uh, let me see if it is this one. Just a second, iPad. Okay, this is my screen, okay, that I'm using. It's Cintiq, I'm not using iPad, but don't worry, this is just to show you, you know, some books. Uh, I'm not getting sponsored, right? Just show you that one thing that is very important to understand when you are studying these kind of books, they always tell you about drawings, all right? They always tell you about drawing, and how you can see the shapes, right? Like this. Here, here, he he's explained about how you can see clearly the shapes. And how you can try to bring new stuffs. And yeah, and I'm just telling you this because in case that you want to vector this, you know, uh, perhaps you will struggle, right? Because first you need to develop your art skills. Okay, in this example here, can you see? I hope that you guys can see. Here he's developing a character, all right? He's developing a character. And of course, it's not just this one, my friend. We, I have <laughs> all those books as well that explain uh, much more about this. Let me open here, this one. Ah, this one here that is called uh, Creating Stylized Characters, okay? Uh, this one here is nice as well because it's explore more, you know, how you can create characters. Yeah, and you know, it's important, really important to see how you can describe your idea. Okay, here, of course, we have the gestures, we have the shapes. Everything here, in all of them, they start with gesture and shapes, basically, all right? Yeah, if you find here, well, in the block stage, block stage here, right here, the block stage. 
this one okay let's say that you want to vector yeah you can go in this way to vector your sketch but don't vector without making the idea first okay uh why i'm telling you this again let me explain more guys uh i want to tell you that the vector let me open here my screen again vector is a rendering process right if, if you let's say okay you did here bad you know early drawing and then you start to vector my friend there is no way that you can change that if you start with bad idea when you get this in vector it's gonna be bad simple like that and that's why i want to bring more this class the art class for you to help you to develop your design your illustrations not just about vector techniques you you have seen me doing this almost for more than two years live streaming here teach you about a film designer teach you about how to use the tools and perhaps most of you are bored <laughs> about seeing me doing and using the same tools because there is no many tools to use anymore here just these ones paint tool pencil vector brush fill tool and transparency this is one that i, I consider the most important one to use just to render just to render why i'm telling you this again uh, yeah, I've been creating all more images uh, to my clients and mixing vector with paintings. You know, this is a kind of vector that I was doing, but also we have here in my case paintings skills. You know, mixing textures. If I create this, let's say all right, I want to create this from scratch just by painting. You take me years just to get these lines, uh, you know, perfect. If you try to do this. It will take huge time on Procreate. Alright, that's why it's important. In that case, I'm using Vector here just to align the lines. Okay, that's why it's so important. And then, of course, later you can decide to go with the details. And what's changed between this design and this, let's say, this character here? Basically, just the shape and, of course, the colors. But the main goals are the same. Okay, I hope this is very clear. Uh, I hope that is very clear. And we're gonna start here by looking at some references for the clouds. And I got the best images. All right, uh, we are gonna use this as a study purpose. It's not just to copy, it's just to study. And now let's start here with this image. And I'm gonna open this. Uh, let me show you. And boom, we got this image here. All right, it's a landscape image focused on the scene. Right, the character is right here far away little and then you can see how the ships are going on uh, let me grab here my pencil and all, almost of them all of them are getting the same direction if we split this to understand how it works you notice that they they follow the same the same angle basically oh look this is going on right here on this line even this this point to here is going on to here and this in this direction all right you see more of course with more i open others images you're gonna see how this art style is working on okay and of course you can tell me okay john but if i if i want to vector this can i do this vector yeah of course you, you can there's no nothing will stop you to do what you want nothing but the main principle here is just to understand how you can get this in your skills if you want to develop scenes like this you need to draw all right these scenes in forms because what we have on here if you look closely we have a shape right we have a shape happening right now let me just draw this over oh, we have this shape right here in the front and then the side okay the side here and then of course later we can see here of course the values and then the details etc but the main shape here we got already okay it's a house with some you know forms here because it's a, it's a kind of 3d is a space that you can see and you can recognize the forms once you recognize the forms later when you get this in rendering it's gonna be easier right it's gonna be so far easier uh, the same way for this one if you want to practice drawing if you want to practice and get better skills okay not just about vector you need to practice exercise simple exercise like this 
you are looking at this reference here, right? Try to draw. Try to, let's say, copy or change something. I can see here a shape. Let me bring this in a new layer. Oh, shape below. All right, shape below. And then I'm seeing here the forms. Dynamic forms. Dynamic forms. This is, oh, by doing that, you can recognize the shape by a house. This looks like a house, right? This looks like a house. And the nice thing, well, look at the straight lines in order to get better drawing skills and composition. You need to look at the straight lines. Okay. If you plan, okay, John, but I want to vector you. Yeah. Change to the designer persona. And then you can switch to what? The pencil tool, because the pencil tool is more appropriate for low poly stuffs, you know, low poly and flat surfaces. How? Paint tool and then do this. Look, boom, 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 boom. I got this silhouette already. Okay. And then you can, okay, John, but I want to improve more my value side. You know, the, the values from the design. Okay. Insert inside. Uh, recognize where are the lights. And then, oh, boom, 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 boom. Make this a bit lighter. Oh, start another shape here on the top. Recognize where are the values. Okay, oh, here, below as well. Just use the grayscale, just recognize the values in the front. So I got here a 3D shape. I got here a 3D shape. Now, of course, it's not equal like this, but it's just a matter to study. Okay, you can develop this technique. Study the subject. Select the subject that you like most. Make a quick drawing and get this in vector. Repeat this until you feel comfortable to progress with another shape. All right. I got here just this simple example, my friend, to show you how you can study composition, how you can build things. All right. Okay. So uh, let's uh, keep doing here next image and study here one thing that i really like about this design if you look closely you know you can see people here you know fighting with each other and there is one thing that caused me a lot of attention here really uh i'm gonna create a new layer just show you what's gonna happen here uh, i'm showing you this because once you let's say sharp your eyes as artist illustrator Later, your design will become much more sense. It's gonna make sense, much more sense than you do something from your head that doesn't make sense at all. And here, you can see that the lines oh, here, is, here is more flat, here as well, and then they are kind of opposite. Okay, it seems that they follow the same, you know, angle from the characters and also the houses. You see some kind of, you know, Easter egg here in this movie because it's very nice. That how the house also follow on a kind of expression, okay? And you notice, uh, you know, how this art composition is, is working on by just looking uh, about, you know, the lines and gestures, okay? And again, if you want to practice more, try to understand the values here. If I apply, if I apply the color overlay that is this one okay color overlay here in the this image and apply the hue what i'm gonna get it is of course just the values in white and black all right white and black and then try to do this i'm just selecting my friend look at this the most simple objects on this scene just to study just to understand all right this is the, your main goal here and see this shape here is causing me a lot of attention why because look i could easily create a shape here let me draw this over right uh, get a color and then i will draw this over just to understand there is a shape here small shape and then there we go Focus in the shape I will create using the pencil tool this time. I'm using the pencil tool because this is more soft. There you go. Okay. 
And what is the point that you can do in order to, let's say, improve your values skills? Uh, I'll apply this by side by side. Okay. And then I make this in grayscale for now. Okay. Now, my friend, you can start to practice not just, let's say, okay, you can use the John Master Vector brushes in order to paint this. You can simply use this brush here and pick up the a bit more gray to black color. You search inside and then recognize where are the values. Oh, here is more shadow. Okay, you can just simply draw here, draw here, okay, and make this shape a bit more dark, like this, okay. This is one of the best exercises that I would tell to myself five years ago before I started to just, you know, create things. Oh, look, by doing that, I'm just seeing the values, because this is a cylinder, right? also here inside of this shape and how you can progress with this by practicing my friend you can decide as well to use the paintings in the raster mode you can decide all right i want to improve more how i can see the shadows how i can improve my shadows pick up the raster persona get Right now, a brush. I'm using my favorite brushes. If you want to get my brushes, you can download on my Groom Road, or you can do and use brushes from a fit that I don't use at all. And then I'll insert inside for now, insert inside, and then look, I'll start to paint here. Okay. A little by little, I'm getting into the value. Okay. And by doing this, you can improve even more, much more your eyes to see th stuffs okay uh, look look and draw look and draw of course uh, the shape here is not 100% but I don't, I'm not worried about that and then you can start to add textures I can apply some textures get a brush that will let's say follow this kind of pattern and then create a new layer and I will draw here a bit of textures okay and then I will use a little bit. Look. Okay. The main goal here, it is to study, right? It is to understand. And we got here nice results um, so far by looking at the shape, the shadows, and then the textures, like we did here. Okay. We have, of course, here's the shape, but just by the lines. But here we have the color, and then the details. Right. This is the most simplified way to do this study. And that's why it's important for you to develop this, let's say, fundamental skills. Let's uh, keep doing here another study. I hope that you guys are enjoying, all right? I'm studying like I would do to myself. Right. Of course, we have more shapes here, like this character, but this is not the... Because it's a bit complex if we get dig into this kind of character with a lot of expression. Okay, for now, let's keep this simple for to help the beginners. And then, let's open this. This one, I really like it a lot. Because, you can see, you know, how how deep it is. There is you now the clouds, and then the... What's the name of this guy? I forgot. Yester. Yester. I forgot. Jasper, I guess. And then... What you can notice here in the background? Tell me on the shot what you can notice. What they have in common here? You know, let me hide these brushes settings. What they have in common here? Okay, we have. If if you study this deeply, okay, if you want to develop more landscape skills, how you do? Let's say get this into an illustration. I suggest you to develop a thumbnail. And how a thumbnail works? Basically, works in this way, very simple. You need to draw this in a small size. You need to draw this as a small size. And how you can do that? It is very simple. Let me close uh, this document here because I think it's getting a bit heavy in my computer. You know, just a sec, guys. 
to save this and because I have three documents open in here and let me check ah. for now I'll, I'll leave it like this one mm. I'll create a new layer right now and then I'll start to study this composition here this will start with uh, a square okay let's start with a square I'm gonna just bring this square I'm using for now the raster person okay oh there's a let me open and close again my fin designer all right so I, I think I can spare a bit of memory here just a second all right let's see if it's gonna work better because there's too many things opening here so I apologize now let's see if it's gonna work well and better let me close. Mm, save this for now. Ah, this is the movie, right? You, you guys can watch this and get some uh, screenshot. I got this is screenshot here on the trailer, uh, which is very nice. Let me open here again. I find desire. Also, you can find for uh, you know the backstage how they created the the movie. And then I'm gonna open this this product here. Let's see if it's gonna work well and better. Like so. Yeah, it's back now. Okay. Um, first of all, I will try to get this composition here. Study this composition by creating a thumbnail. How you can start the thumbnail? Of course, I will start with the square. Okay. This square is quite enough. And then I can use the selection tool in order to fill this area. I can start it right this way. And what you can recognize, my friends, I'll create a new layer just to have a better organization, a better, let's say, arrangement about what is the front, what is behind. Okay. Look, the first thing that I'm recognizing here, it is this landing here okay secondly what i can recognize yeah it is some trees right here look the idea is to understand i have you need to recognize how the shapes are working we have some lines here as well look uh another thing that we have of course is the characters Character I will draw here very simply. This shape here, my friend, is a strong guy, right? You can see that is more square. Okay. And then let's try to reproduce this in our head. If we try to recognize this, in this way, we're gonna get something like this. I'll make it a bit dark, right? Okay. Oh. This is more strong guy. Just by the shape, you can recognize how he works. This is thumbnail, right? Thumbnail, it is supposed to be fast and effective. And then the Jasper here. I will draw a new layer and then draw him right here. Now look. When you work with uh, thumbnails, you focus more in the silhouettes. Okay, you can use the reason just to arrange more the composition I, I'll tell you this is you know one of the best way to to improve in art is the best way instead of getting to let's say the traditional art schools uh, we have this composition then last thing we have the houses the houses you know, of course if you draw one by one it can be complex because we have a lot of lines going on here, more triangles happening. But in order to have a fast result with that, you can use the lasso tool. The lasso tool will allow you to bring more this. Look, oh, I can just create some kind of triangles. Let me make it a bit lighter. And then. 
you can start you know to create some kind of squares dynamically I'm doing here right then now look I can see some kind of shapes Let's see more shapes here below. This works as well with values, which is very great. In just a matter of, let's say, a few minutes, we got a kind of result that can describe as this composition. Okay, and then this layer below. Okay, good. Okay, this is how you can develop some thumbnails. Of course, you can add these horses here that is not horses i don't know the name <laughs> I forget sometimes okay <laughs> and then um you can start to add more details after you okay i like this idea i like this composition and then you can dig so uh let's say that okay john i'm i'm working creating i'm creating some kind of children book i'm creating a game what's changed about what you are teaching right now my friend you can follow these instructions that I'm telling you and showing you, okay? Because we are using references to describe how the guys, you know, that did this amazing piece of work did. And then after you you follow this process, like, okay, I want to just create few examples, few thumbnails, not just this one. You can you know create more in different angles. Different angles will be very great, okay? which is great all right so now let's skip uh, now to the next uh, example right next example we have this image which is you know very sweet now uh, I don't know if you guys how many of you have watched this movie tell me on the chat please so I will know how many of you have watched this movie which is you know very awesome okay um, there is a bit of a delay when I ask some questions and then, you know, uh, you guys can ask me after you listen this. But let's, let's keep doing here uh, without losing time. Okay, in this composition, my friends, let me just okay. In this composition here, what you can see, uh, this expression here, I want to, to bring this expression. If we try to describe this expression, Okay, of course you see a, a bored guy and you can see by simply simply studying his eyes expression oh, this is one of the most you know uh, easy way to see how bored he is I'm just you know creating this line just to see how he works okay oh, this are the line that will tell you okay John this is a boring guy but not simply just this proportion that we have on here. Let me just uh, change this color here to, to white for now, okay? Uh, okay, how you can practice in order to bring different kind of composition, different kind of characters. You can think, all right, I can practice, I can practice and create different characters upon this expression. Can bring this here. Oh, a different character. Can bring the nose. Let me just bring that. I'm gonna use this sketch, this brush here because I like most. Try to create, you know, the shapes. So I like to think like geometry, right? I like to think like with geometry. With geometry, you can basically study even more with the drawings and then the ears, the head, and so on. Okay. You can, okay, I can create other characters based upon this expression, all right? Which is a very nice way to study, you know, uh, expressions. And this is one thing that I, it's really caught me the attention, you know, this expression here. And also the way that this girl uh, seems to be very, uh, you know, uh, uh, sweet, you know. And yeah, 
look at the, the lights that we have on here as well. If we apply, you know, the color overlay and then the hue, uh, you will notice something that perhaps, you know, uh, when you are watching the movie, you will not rely, you realize. Because only the light and the values will tell you what the story is. But the focus on right now, it is on the legs. All right. You can notice about how these legs here, this white, it is, you know, being very strong compared to all the entire composition. All right. Even his face here it has a soft light. It's not 100% white. Okay. It's not 100% white. We, this one here, I, we can tell you is more, let's say, white than what uh, we have on his face. All right. And what you can get more in this design here, it is to study even more the forms. Okay. You can basically try to redraw this character here, which is very great. Uh, about the live streaming, the live streaming will be saved on the YouTube, right? But after we uh, go to the next lesson in the upcoming week, I usually remove the videos from the YouTube, right? Because uh, I, I want to see people, you know, watching here. Of course, the, the time that I spend here is important, and uh, I want to see you guys, you know, doing and practicing. Okay, which is very important. Okay, the next uh, scene, which is this one. One thing that I really like it, really, I, I want to explain each image because I think it's gonna be important for you to understand how this shadow works. <laughs> oh my gosh, which is very great. If we plan to vector this, let's all right, John, I want to render this in my design. Okay, how would you do that? My friend, let's say that you are using vector for this. No worry, you can use. I can recognize these shapes right here. Look, I'm gonna create a new layer, okay? And then I can recognize, oh look, this shape here. Okay, this will work like the shadows, like this. But more than that, you can decrease the opacity, okay? decrease the opacity and also if you want to use this you can use the Gaussian blur in case if you want to soft more the shadows look which is will make a even better you know shadows of course uh, if I change here too much it's gonna change all the composition but the thing is how you can recreate this shadow here you can use the shapes that you did in order to render this okay and how you, if you ask okay john how i create these eyes i will show you a few steps very few steps about how you can create these eyes here i hope that you guys you know uh, are enjoying this and now i will create these eyes and let me show you how a few steps right get the shape you need to get the shape. I'm gonna use the paint tool. I'm gonna just use paint tool for now. Paint tool. See and recognize the shape. We got something like this, right? Something like this. And then we have what? The circles. Let me bring the stroke for now. In white. We have the circles. That is, you know, the puppet. This is the eyes that we are creating vector. And then I can recognize a color here, just for now. I'll make this as black. Duplicate and resize. This one I would change. It's a sort of blue. Okay, sort of blue. And there is a highlight here, all right. There's a small highlight happening here. And then you can basically what you can do duplicate this and make this as white. Okay, now look. This is how you can study. 
Let me remove this stroke for now. Okay. Oh, the shape is becoming more alive, right? And then I'll group this and resize. You can clip this by drag inside of the shape and then you can change here easily, right? We are just recreating the eyes. And then I will just change here the stroke. This one. This is only is one of the ways that I like to create eyes. No, eye slashes. Like this. You can use in this way. And also we got some shadings. But the shadings will rely about all the composition, all the light that is you know around of him. As we are creating this eye separately, as a study is important, let's say, to define an environment. Okay, and let's put out these eyes here. I will create just a, a simple you know, background for now in this color. Maybe like this. I'm gonna create the shading for these eyes. I'm gonna do it in this way. Look. First of all, try to look and recognize how the surface works. All right, we have this shape here. This is where the light is. And then I can do this easily if I use this technique. Fill tool, elliptical mode, and then look at this. You recognize how it is. Let me look. I'm just recognizing where is the shadows and then I can apply even more of course shadings to it let me use at this point I want to use paintings all right let me use painting rest persona and I'll get this brush here uh, then I can start to paint a little bit like this Oh, you can re uh, increase the brush and give a big brush stroke. Okay, creating even more shading to it. Raising a bit, creating highlights. There's a highlight here, can you see? That way I would do a bit yellow. It, it's a bit warm, all right? Warm, it's not cool. Then bring this to more yellow. Then I'll draw here. The technique is after draw this, let's say shape, or it can be a shape, it can be, you know, a painting, whatever you want. Uh, the end result is gonna be image. I'm gonna switch this to, let's see here, oh, overlay. Overlay looks great. I like it. And again, you can raise a little bit more here and painting to you know to blend with the eyes and look it's not 100% black these eyes is more to warm as well this is happening because of the sun and I'm gonna change a little bit to the same color wow like this okay we have just recreated a very simple way to do the eyes and what you can learn from here if you ask me John okay what we can learn from this exercise you are learning how to recognize the angle of the eyes how you can apply the the values of course there there are values on here and how you can apply the shadings using you know we can use the painting skills if you want if you want to develop this as well let me just soften even more this corner. I can make this corner a bit more you know, rounded. This one here as well. You can even more, even polish this design, you know, giving more gradients to it. Okay, look how nice it is. This could be, let's say, a separate design. Or the eyes. I, I could create a character from this one, you know. 
Easily. Can you see? I could do that. And there you go. <laughs> yeah, friend, we are just playing here and seeing how you guys can create stuffs. Okay, we have just recreated the eyes, which is, look, very nice. The temperature, of course, needs to be changed a little bit, but look, there is there is difference. Not too much. I will color relay and apply this semi environment from here. And look what's gonna happen. Look at this. Okay. Look now, my friend. This looks like it's the same part. Alright. The same part of the process. Right, I'm gonna just. Nice, isn't it? What changes just the shape? But this is the point. Uh, where is. Just a second. Yeah. What time is it now? Okay, more more ten minutes and uh, we will we wrap up this lesson. Okay. Okay. Uh, the up we have more images here. And by the end of this month, of course, I want to create a character from scratch by using this art style. Okay. We want to reproduce. Today we are just studying, we are just recognizing the idea, the references, we are just studying. And then later we can design a character and a background. This is gonna look like a course, a full course on the internet. And let's open another one. Oh, the highest is on there. And just apply this here. This one here, it's very nice. If you guys look, um, you know uh, this character let me just show you the shapes above I will draw here with the paint tool and uh, you recognize easily you know the shapes I'm using mouse <laughs> at this point okay and then let's uh, look this one we got exactly this shape here Right, and w w as I said, you know, in these books that I showed you earlier, once you, you start to recognize the silhouette, the silhouette is here. You can create um, all sort of characters. Right, uh, I will tell you, you know, in case some someone is wondering about, uh, you know, if there are some copyright issues if you vector this over. No, there is no way to copyright silhouettes no not at all only if you copy 100 percent you know the the character and sell them this is not you know the case here and then oh look you can start to get the silhouette and study them i'm just using you know for me right now the paint tool why because for me it's easier right you can use the pencil as well the shape here is rounded right you can just create around that shape here and change the color a little bit. Ah, this is. Well, I'm not, you know, worried about the color. It's just the composition. It's a bit more rounded here. This and there is the eyes brows here. Okay, the eyes brows are here. Oh, two. Then you can. I've added eyes for this one, but you don't need to add eyes. Okay. And this below. And this is how you can start to create the shapes. Alright. Okay, let's recognize another one. Uh, for this one, compare this to this one. We got. Well, if we vector this over, let me do this right now. We have this shape here. Okay. It's a bit more rounded below. Okay, it's a bit more rounded below. Oh, see the corners, alright? When you are creating the vector, one thing that I like to tell people when they are using my technique, with the low poly technique that's called, 
it is to recognize where are the corners. You have a corner here, right? A point here, point here, here, and here. And then, basically, after you do this, you can just convert this to curves. Boom! Alright? You, you, you are going to convert this to curves. And then, you can, let's say, create a character from this same shape. Okay? Another one is this one, <laughs> which is very nice. Uh, we can recognize the shapes by the, you know, the nose here. This nose a bit rounded here in the corner. You can cover this to curves and this one as well. Okay, and which elements we can recognize much better? We this this one here below as well. Let me copy this and paste here. This is so important, you know, when you study this kind of composition uh, later when you start to to shading this to make the shadings no matter if it's vector or raster the light will really realize you know the shading we realize about the light source you can recognize here easily if we apply right now look let me show you this study case here uh, can you see that the light is coming just from here below Okay, there is a light here below, and that's why we have just in one side. I'm gonna apply this in, can be the same color, sounds like this, a bit reddish. That case, if you want to study more about the shadings, you know, the values and stuff, like this one, you can go here to, yeah, you can use the vector brushes if you wish, okay, but I'm gonna use the raster persona to paint this let me grab this color and then look get the the skin tone and look do this bring this below on the top here and look this one here as well So basically, what we are doing, we are just recognizing, you know, the shadings from where the light source is coming from. You see, here we have the chin, the upper mouth, you know, upper jaw, I'd say, <laughs> and then the nose. You can also add some kind of tonalities. Uh, the nice thing, look at this, my friends, look at this, because it, it is something that uh, it can be boring if you don't like art, if you don't like illustrations, right? If it's not for you, if you don't like, it's because perhaps illustration is not for you. But here's the point. Uh, we have three tonalities, which is warm, and then the skin color, and then the gray, a bit gray. This is the key point to make something more realistic. Uh, I will select this, this color here, and make it a bit gray. And apply on the top, just a bit gray. And apply a bit on top. Okay. Uh, look how how realistic this is becoming because of the tonalities. Uh, here as well, a little bit here and here. Okay. There you go. I mean, you can soft even more this. If you want. Okay, John, I want to soft this. Yeah, no worry. You can soft by erasing get the erase brush and then you can simply erase this in that way okay or you can use the smudge brush and paint in that way I, I like to use this brush here for smudging this one because there is a texture I like you know to add textures to my design oh, like this it's, it's becomes more a bit more organic. Uh, I like this feeling of you know paintings. Okay, okay. Look, we got this nice result. If we place it, this you know, comparison side by side, you will see that our results really matches a little bit. Look, 
just the temperature, the, the temperature, you know, a bit different. But look, can re can you recognize my friend? And just to match the temperature, I need to get the color overlay. The adjustment as well works pretty well for that purpose. Okay, and then look, let me use and see the color dodge overlay. Maybe the overlay more lighter like this. Okay, so we have just matched composition, right? Nice, isn't it? By doing the oh look, uh, why you know I'm not digging to just one, let's say design and then onto the finish final product. It's because we are just getting. The, for me, the most important elements that I'm seeing here, then I can bring how you can create this in the way that I usually do for my clients, you know, how I would study this. And of course, I want to see you guys doing this. If you can send your studies to the Vectorize Club on the Telegram, right? On the Telegram, you guys can share your designs. Okay, here. Uh, let me open the Vectorize Club. You can send the submit your design right here, right? Easily. And let's up, uh, open the last uh, image for today. This one. This one uh, looks, you know, very nice because of you know the character's position, and mainly this guy here, you know, caught my attention somehow. I don't know. I think it's because he's, you know, there are a gap. A uh, big gap here. Uh, if you if you look closely, in this design we have a gap, a big space that is giving him a a very big contrast, right? This area here. If this design is bad, probably you know would have some kind of tree below of him, and it would kill would kill entirely this composition this visual composition this contrast right would kill this so that's why I really like it somehow this image not just because of you know the shapes the sh all the shapes here in this move is amazing right it's very amazing um, but this called my attention somehow another thing that you guys can study in some situations for me uh, it is how the the simple forms are happening here. Why I'm telling you this? Uh, if you're studying all design and compositions, you recognize. Uh, look how simple is the shapes. Look, let me just apply this way here. Apply. We have a cylinder here, right? We have a cylinder happening here. And then another here. Let me show you more about it. And there is a a big cylinder happening here as well. Another here. Okay. Uh, what we can do with this kind of shape? I will show you what you can do. My friends, look at this. I'm gonna just make the values, and of course, I need to adapt this shape here in the correct perspective because look if you can see the inside area and not the behind is because it is a it is pointed to the front of us we can see what is here inside that's why we can recognize easily this shape all right and then i will just apply this on top that normal the shape is normal as well and then it's time to to place this side by side like this right and what you can learn from this design here I will tell you now it is values <laughs> you know there is no secret at all if you try to okay John I'm facing a problem here in my design that I cannot do the shadows be why you cannot do the shadows my friend because you you don't know you do, you cannot see 
where are the wireframe? You know, the wireframe, it is the lines like this. Let's say that this is the angles that we are getting. Okay. So try to think like this. T try to think in wireframe. Once you see this wireframe like this. Okay, John, I'm seeing now because, of course, I'm doing the wireframe here, my friend. But once you recognize the wireframes, your shadings will become easier. This will work like guidelines, okay? Look, try to think like this. All right. Why this is important, my friend? Because when you do the painting, I'm going to show you right now why this is important. The face of the planes, like in a said. All right. This is a cylinder object. Let me bring this below. Just say. Like I said in the beginning of, of this tutorial, this would be an art lesson, my friend. <laughs> not just vector. Can you see? I'm using vector and painting. I'm not worried about the tools. Because one thing that I, I need to tell you, do not rely about a tool. Because let's say th this tool die, and then you're gonna die together with the tool. Or you're gonna have your experience with you. What really is important for you? To have your experience in your head? Or to have your experience aligned to only a tool? I could do this of course on Photoshop, but I don't like Photoshop at all. <laughs> yeah, we got this. And then, can you see, if I use the fill tool, alright, I want to use the fill tool. This is what's gonna happen, right? A fill tool. To create this effect. But for me, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Because this is a more a cone instead of a cylinder. We have, look at this. This is a cone, my friend. It is not a cylinder, 100% cylinder. It's almost a cylinder, but it's not a cylinder. It's a more cone. To do that, I'm gonna remove this. Solid color, vector brushes. You can download my vector brushes on my growth, my friend. I'm gonna use the master vector brushes and I'm gonna use this one here. And this one is fine. Okay. Insert inside. And I'll draw here. Look, here inside. Boom. And I'm following, right now, I'm following the angle. Oh, look at this. I'm following the angle. Boom. Oh, look at this, my friend. Friend, this is vectorized, alright? Teach you art that traditional art schools doesn't teach you. Okay, yeah. this is why we have wireframes. Alright, this is why. You need to follow the guideline. You need to follow Okay, the wireframe. The same way for here. Oh, it's hundred percent black, you don't need to do that. But if you want to add a bit of light here inside. You can feel free oh, to add a little bit. You can add text, right, John? But I want to get get more artistic. You can do. You can do. You can just. All right, I will get this brush here that is called, you no, know, the John John what? John Spray Dots. <laughs> this is the name of the brush. And then look, I can create here. Boom, boom, boom. Create a texture. I, I want to give a, a bit more texture here. Let me apply this. Boom, 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 boom. Look. Apply a bit of blend mode. I really love to use blend mode in all my designs. Really, my friend. I'm going to use this up to light. And this one here. Oh. A bit, I'm going to erase it just a little bit. This spray dots because it's too strong for me. Oh. Okay. Look. It's good, it's good, right? It's good. Uh, Aldrig, Aldrig, sorry, I'm not using Mac, my friend, anymore. I'm using Windows. Look, if I just pop out here, it is Windows. And look, uh, again, guys, you can, you know, add. Ah, this time you're using mouse, but you can use whatever you want. So, basically, pencil and mouse 
pencil in case you are painting, of course, because there is pressure. It's important to have pressure. But if you use only vex, use your mouse. It's fine. Okay. The same. Oh, I'm not going to do this over here because we already did that. Okay. Uh, but this is the goal here. It is to recognize the wireframe in order to paint this. That's why it's so important to have a solid construction in your design. All right. This is why it's so important. Uh, this one is more flat. My one I got a bit more, no, a bit different. It's not a uh, copy, but you can. Okay, I want to make something similar to this. Ah, just go and do your version. All right, uh, more flat, a bit flat, and we want so much too many uh, textures here, and make it a bit dark, like that. Ah, I really, I like it a lot. This <laughs> painting with mouse, my friend. Uh, here we go. Uh, really, I want to thank you guys you know, so much for telling me that I'm a great instructor because sometimes I don't feel like I'm the best guy that teach. That, of course, there are more channels on the internet that teach, I'd say, better than me or have better English than mine. But I, I need to tell you, I, I try to do my best here. I really try, uh, you know, to, to do my best to, to bring things different for you, to help you. Uh, you know, as I said, ah, I think it's time to wrap up this. Okay, uh, as I said, you know, uh, since we started here today, uh, the main goal here, you know, is to study, you know, this art. Uh, upcoming weeks, we're gonna create our character. And then, uh, let me see here in which day we have. Uh, today it is uh, 13, right? Uh, Thursday, 13. Next day it is 20, next upcoming week. And then, 27. <laughs> And then what I'm planning, it is this month we're gonna focus in Klaus. Next week we can develop a character, right? From scratch. Uh, from the beginning until the finished, let's say, product. Uh, of course we're gonna study a bit more the shapes in order to create our character. And then the last week, you know, of this month, 27, we're gonna do a landscape. We're gonna create a landscape. Today it was just a warm up, a study purpose. I don't know if you guys really like you know uh, this kind of you know uh, structure, of course. But you know, for me, it is very important. I really like it because you know I did something that I have been doing a lot, you know, when I study. But I want to you know get back to my my studies, art studies. You know, it's important to develop more creativity from studying stuffs. But the goal here is to keep everything simple for you. You know, I want to make things simple for you. I want to make you guys doing, you know, yeah, easy way, a easy path. I'm not asking you to pay anything here. I'm not asking you to pay, you know, to get a full course that you're gonna learn everything. No, no, no. Stay here. I'm not asking you nothing, all right? I'm asking you just to stay here and learn little by little. Have patience. If you want, of course, if you want to support everything that we do here, join the club. It's very cheap. We have a great community there. I want to apologize, you know, uh, people on the Vectorize Club in case I'm not, I was not so active, you know, in the past month. It's because I mean, uh, I was in the holidays, my friend. Now <laughs> I'm full of energy to get back again, I hope. And I want to study even more, you know, everything from the books. I want to eat these books <laughs> and bring this everything to you. And uh, I'm considering as well to get some images from you and bring it here on the live streaming. All right, uh, we can plan and schedule better some art reviews here during the live streaming. So basically we can do this in the end of this month, uh, 27. Uh, this product is called, let's say, not we're not going to call called Clouds because it's gonna looks like we are you know, just copywriting stuff of then. <laughs> no, we are just studying the art style, and I want you guys creating a similar art style, right? Let's give this object, this challenge, this exercise. So once you have this kind of exercise, we are studying this, and the upcoming month we can study other kind of movies. We can uh, start to st uh, study realistic movies. We can uh, study games everything right even the most simple ones we're gonna keep this kind of structure for now okay and yeah that's all my friend uh, 
I want to thank you so much for your time, right? And in any case that, you know, I it took too long for me to explain everything here. I apologize, but this is the best time that we, we got here to teach you everything that I'm learning, I know, and what I can learn with you. Okay, I hope that it makes sense. And let me open here my screen. And let me... Okay, it's working. Okay, okay guys. Um, so next week, we're gonna get back here. We're gonna create a character from scratch, uh, doing our versions, we're gonna use these techniques that I, I show you here today. And I hope that you guys, you know, will be here as well to watch this everything. But if you want to support, please join the club, okay? Uh, if you feel that you need to learn with the vector techniques, we have a lot of, you know, uh, lessons on there. But like I said, before we wrap up this, um, you know, this stop here, stop using vector, actually, Learn vector after you learn how to build a solid foundation. If you're a beginner, do not just go through the vector. You're gonna get frustrated, right? I'm telling you this because it's hard at the beginning. You're gonna try to use the tools and then you suddenly, if you don't know how to apply the values, you're gonna see a design that you're gonna feel hurt. You're gonna hurt yourself. That's why it's important to build a, fo uh, a great foundation. Like I, I, I've showed you here, you here, 100% foundations, principles, all right, from simple objects. I got here simple objects, simple things that you can bring to yourself and start to do your stuff, all right? Okay, uh, be smart, uh, still like an artist, <laughs> okay? <laughs> learn with the master, my friend, like I do. Be humble enough to learn with people that know more than you. Be humble, okay? I'm humble enough to learn with the guys that know a lot. And that's why I'm here. And to help you as well. Okay. Guys, thank you so much again. This is the Vectorize. And I hope to see every, everybody know next week. Bye-bye, Damiel, Angela, Steve, Nikki, Vela. Uh, let's see. Aileen. Thank you so much, Aileen. Down, Sugar Heart. <laughs> and and Bita, I think. Uh, Aldrig. Everybody, you know. Kina. Hello, Kina. Thank you so much, really, to help us. And others guys as well. Uh, sorry if I haven't uh, read your comments before, but I was focused here. Okay, guys, thank you. Bye bye. See you next time.